Hello teachers out there and welcome to the second video in this video series where I teach you to make spreadsheets like a pro. Um, today we're going to improve upon the work we did last video uh, by creating this very very simple spreadsheet and we're going to append it with two extra columns one which will automatically calculate a total mark for each student and one which will calculate a percentage score and both of these um, use formula to work at least very simple forms of a formula um, I think formula within Excel are one of the most commonly feared and misunderstood uh, areas of the program um, but bizarrely also definitely one of the most useful and certainly one of the uh, areas I've used more than any other so to get started the first thing you need to do uh, with a formula is decide where it's going to go now normally a formula will end up in uh, the cell where you want the result of that formula to be shown uh, for example if we look at my finished version here my cheat sheet we're going to want our total marks to be going in the next column along so I'm going to put my first formula in this box here where in fact I'll just put my t column title in my total and I'm going to do all the same stuff I did last video make it the right size put it in the middle put it in the middle because I'm a bit of a you know I'm a bit of a clean freak I like things to look the same so um, I'm also going to color it. I just can't live like this so um, we're going to have our total going there I know we can probably all add one and zero and write it in but nevertheless it's going to take a lot longer to add all of these up separately and write in the total than it is to have Excel do it for us so to do this it's really really simple the first thing we do is click on the cell and we type an equals sign now an equals sign in Excel makes Excel realize that it's looking for a function um, and that it's going to be performing some task so if you were to type in uh, a number now it, it would just put in the number but actually um, we're going to put in a formula so the formula we're going to put in here is a very simple one and there's two ways of doing this it's a simple addition we've typed our equal sign in and we can either now click on the first cell we want involved because we want to add these two cells so I'm going to click on the first one and it says C2 and now I'm going to type a plus sign because I know that I want whatever's in C2 which we know is a zero to be added and I'm going to press my plus sign to whatever is now and I'm going to click on D2 and that's our formula so this is going to show when I press enter the value in C2 and it's going to add it to the value in D2 and I'm going to press enter and we can see the answer is one which it is clearly now the other way we could have done that is just to type that in manually we can see that it's C2 and we can see that it's D2 so you could have just typed equals C2 plus D2 and it would have done exactly the same thing now it would be very irritating if we then had to go to the next box down and type in equals C3 plus D3 we could do that and we could press enter and it would tell us but it's quite a long-winded way of doing it a much better way is to select a box which contains a formula and at the bottom right there's this little tiny black box and we're going to click on that and drag it down to the bottom and what that little black box does is it takes the formula that is in this box and it will copy it and replicate it across all the boxes that you drag it to it's also clever enough to realize that as you're going down and you're increasing your row number so here we want this to be calculated on the base of these two in this box here we want it to calculate the total based on these two so it automatically increases the cell row number by one each time it goes down and it will do that automatically just to show you that again if I delete this last one we'll see here we've got C14 and D14 and if we drag it down automatically it changes to C15 and D15 now it's important to realize that it does that because there are some situations where you actually don't want a formula to increase the row number every time you drag it down perhaps you want each of these formula to calculate off the same row uh, for, for some reason and it does come up um, and that being the case is a very very simple answer to that and you just put in a dollar sign which is shift 4 on an English keyboard and what that will do not that we want to do it here but it's good just to show you if I was to then drag that down 
it's the same all the way through because all of these now are C2 and D2. It hasn't automatically changed the row number for us because of that dollar sign. In any case, I'm going to press Control Z. I don't really want that. What I want is what is currently here. And that's given us the totals. I'm going to do all the same things to those that I did to the others. I'm going to put them in the middle so they look pretty. And now I want to look at putting in a percentage column as well. So I'm going to put in percentage score. I'm going to increase the font size, put it in the middle, middle justify, and I'm going to put this in a pretty, uh, I'll go for a pretty uh, red. There you go. So the percentage score is a little bit more complicated, but we're still using formula. Now, it's, it's helpful to think about what we're actually trying to do before we try and do it here. We're asking for a percentage score. So we're asking for the combined total of this out of 20, this out of 20. We're going to divide it by the total number of points available, which would be out of 40, I suppose. And then we're going to times it by 100, which is a fairly standard mathematical way of getting a percentage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type exactly that in as a formula. I'm going to start with an equal sign, as usual. I'm going to type in E2, because that is the cell containing the number that we're going to base our percentage on, our total, because I want total score. I could do it for just writing or for just reading, but actually for now I want a total score um, and a percentage based on that. So I start with equals E2, and I want that, I'm going to put a bracket around it, to be divided by 40, because that's the total. So, so far I've got the total score divided by the total available score. And finally, I'm going to times by 100 to give me a percentage. Just a couple of things to note here. In order to divide in Excel, you use a forward slash. And in order to times, you use an asterisk, which is shift eight on an English keyboard. And again, when I press enter, it will tell me that Justin Bieber, bless his heart, only got 2.5% on our recent tests. And once again, I'm going to do exactly the same thing I did before. I'm going to click on the little square and I'm going to drag this down to the bottom so it replicates that same formula across all of those people. At this point, one thing I should mention is I have been on spreadsheets before and I've looked for this little black box in the corner and it's not there. Now, if this is a problem that you're facing, then one easy way to solve it is to go to this big Windows Office button here. You click on Excel Options and then on Advanced, there is a little box called Enable Fill Handle and Cell Drag and Drop. That, the fill handle, is that little black square. So if you can't see it on your spreadsheet, chances are you need to go into the, the big Windows button, the Office button, Advanced, um, and then find that button and make sure that that box is ticked. When it is ticked, you should find in the corner of every cell, if you click on it, is that little box. You can see the little cross indicating that it's working. So again, I'm gonna centrify, justify that and increase the font. One final thing I should mention about these formula is that they are also self-updating. And by that, what I mean is, as you're changing results, and let's say, for example, I made a mistake and Mick Jagger actually didn't get five. He actually did read his name correctly, so I can give him a full 10 marks for that section of the test. As I change the number and I click away, you'll notice that his total increases too, and so does his percentage score, which is based on his total. So these equations uh, read off each other and do update as the data changes, which is really invaluable. And it means you don't need to perform those procedures again and again, just because one bit of data changes. So there you have it. We have now got our results from our wonder class here. We've got the total scores for everybody. And we've also got the percentage score per person. In the next video, I want to move on and look at some more formula and more ways that you can use them to manipulate uh, and analyze the data. So uh, hopefully I will see you next video.